If you like horror, hit that notification bell, smash that like button, and push that subscribe button now. What's the boogie man? Hello, Sydney. Welcome to my nightmare. We want the man who did this. Welcome to Nick Push's Horror Channel. What's going on, everybody? I'm Nick Push. Thanks for tuning in. Back with some more Halloween ends, talk, speculation, things like that. Uh, if you couldn't tell by the title of today's video on the thumbnail, I want to talk about the Myers house and its role in Halloween ends, if it has one. So, before I get into that, tell me down in the comments, do you think we will see the Myers house in Halloween ends? And do you think we should see the Myers house in Halloween ends? I have some thoughts. Obviously, it, it all depends on the story that they're trying to tell, which we still, we know a little bit, but not much. Um, but I'll get right into it. Uh, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button though for all your Halloween ends. I don't wanna say news, cause I don't really, I don't really talk about or break Halloween ends news. I speculate on things and things like that. We'll say Halloween ends fun. If you like speculating about Halloween ends, if you like just talking about Halloween ends, you know, deciphering the news after it happens, uh, this is the spot for you. I am the only Halloween Ends channel on YouTube. <laughs> Kidding, obviously. Uh, there's tons of them, so I, like, I say, like I've said before, I appreciate you guys checking out my channel. But let's get right into it. Will the Myers house appear in Halloween Ends? Maybe. I know, breaking news, guys. Yes, it will. No, it won't. I'm going to say maybe. Um, but let's, let's talk about it a little bit here. So a lot happened at the Myers house in Halloween Kills. We obviously didn't have it in 2018, right? We had it obviously in the original, but we didn't have it in 2018, and then Halloween Kills comes along, and we have a shit ton of things that happen there. We have the flashback scene, obviously from 78, um, but the flashback scene, a lot happened there. You know, Myers kills Hawkins' partner. Well, Hawkins kills Hawkins' partner, but he would have been dead anyway. Um, and then Myers is apprehended there again, right? And then we have um, not only the scene with Big John and Little John where they die, but essentially the climax of the movie. You know, the battle with um, Cameron and Allison and him killing Lonnie before that, um, and then Karen showing up, luring him away from there. And then obviously the movie ends with him killing Karen up in that window. So a lot happened there, right? So if we don't get it, at least... In this trilogy, we've had a shit ton of things, a shit ton of um, scenes with the Myers house, both in present day and in the flashback, right? Okay, so, so I'm cool with it not being in there. My thing is this, with all the things that happen there, I think we need a little closure with the Myers house. And that could mean one of two things. That could mean Lori demolishing the house, right? Obviously, with everything that happened there, including her daughter dying, what looked like a brutal death, Lori may want to fucking, you know, ride a, tra a tractor, uh, ride one of those machines that just destroys a house, a demolishing machine, just demolish it herself, you know? That could be very satisfying to her, very therapeutic, right? Try trying to put the past behind her. She's going to fucking destroy the house. I could see that. That would provide closure, okay? Okay. They don't even have to show it. They can just allude to it or she can mention it, right? Um, I'm sure if it was destroyed in the movie, characters would be talking about it. You know, at least they destroyed the house. You could get some dialogue, all kinds of things like that. You know, you could have Lori, you know, talking to Allison, Allison talking to Lori, you know, Hawkins, something like that, okay? So if we don't see it and it's demolished, that's fine, okay? I don't need to see a bulldozer destroying the house. But it brings me up to, I've talked about this before, the most intriguing part of Halloween Kills for me is that goddamn window. I've mentioned it before, I get shit in the comments about it all the time, it's nothing, you know, it, it's, we're not gonna get a payoff, and you're, you could be right, okay? But that window means something. I know it has to, they had to have something for it. There was too much going on with that window 
in Halloween Kills to not have some type of payoff. Okay? I've said it before, I'll say it again. I'm going to go over it again, what all happened in that window. Okay, not only was Judith murdered right in front of that window, but you had the uh, officer, Hawkins' partner, who died in there. Um, you had him telling Hawkins about Myers staring through his sister's window or staring up at his sister's window, however he worded that, right? You had him dying right in front of that window as he's looking out the window, and he saw the footprints of Myers staring out that window. Okay? We had the Big John, Little John scene, where he kills one of the Johns, I can't remember which one, and he's staring out the window. And then we have the pan out of him walking towards the other John. I can see, I can't remember if it's Big John or Little John, but we have the camera panning out as he walks towards that other John and kills him. And then obviously, at the end, you have Karen looking in the window, seeing young Michael Myers, going up there to look, and then Myers appearing from behind and stabbing her. So that's a lot going on with that window. What, what they're going to do with it, I have no idea, but I feel like they have to give us something. I guess they don't have to. But from a storytelling perspective, they set that up. It's time to knock it down now and wow us with some interesting answer about what that window is. We're probably not going to like the answer, right? You know me, I'm especially like, you know, don't tell us all this shit about Myers. Um, but I think they, I think they will. Okay. I, I just think that there's, there was way too much going on there for them not, for them not to pay it off. Okay. Now, if we don't get the Myers house, possible spoiler here, turn this video off right now if you don't want anything. If we don't get the Myers house, I have heard rumblings that there could be some on location shots with the Wallace and the Doyle house. That to me would be even better than the payoff with the Myers house and the window. If they don't give us the window shit, if they don't give us the Myers house and they go there, I'm fine. I'm cool with that because that is just the iconic fucking locations of most of where the OG took place. So that'd be pretty cool. But like I said, guys, um, tell me down in the comment section if you think we will get the Myers house, if you want the Myers house, should we get the Myers house? Am I just way off base on this window thing, guys? I, I keep mentioning it and I keep getting shit on up for it. I just think there's something there. Maybe I'll be disappointed and they won't show it, but it, that's just me. So tell me down in the comments. Appreciate you guys as always. I will see you next time.